It's a balmy 16 degrees this January morning, but at least the sun's out. We're going to be testing two products that you can find at New Sports Shop from Pocket Bellows. I'll be reviewing two products today that you can find at the camera department at New Sports Shop. The first of these is the Pocket Bellows. It's a pocket size bellows that you can use to uh, increase the temperature on any fire that you're starting. Um, I picked one of these up at Noose about six months ago. Uh, it's been a, a welcome addition to my fire starting kit. Um, and another item that we'll be talking about are these Baddest B fire fuses. Uh, it's just a beeswax uh, coated cotton uh, fire starter. Ooh, it's cold. All right, so I'm gonna start with my little stuff first. Move on to my larger stuff. It's so cold, the tap water's steaming up. <laughs> I'm sorry, spigot water. For those of you who don't know what a spigot is, you can find that online. That should have everything good inside. All right, guys, we're going to start this fire like we normally would. Oh, man, this stuff, I don't know if the camera's getting that. It is frozen already. So not only do I have water to contend with, but I also have ice. So that's always a, a good way to start a video. I promise you that if I can't get this fire started, nobody will ever, ever see this footage. But I have, uh, <laughs> you can tell... I've done it before with wet tinder. I don't know if I've ever done it when my fingers are quite so cold. Fingers, if you don't know what fingers are, you can find those in the dictionary besides spigot. In case you're wondering what these popsicles are, they're made from they're made from oak and pecan limbs that fell down during the winter storm last night in my yard. You can hear me over the wind, but that's got most of it in. A little bit of water I've got left just for good measure. All right, guys, so I'm taking you around to the back side of my fire so I show you me actually lighting the blooming thing. Um, these baddest bee fire fuses come in a, in a, I hope that focuses, in a really neat little uh, plastic tube that covers up the other side. Um, not something that lasts forever, but as long as you're using them, they should last the product. So um, they'll come in 12 packs or 24 packs. 
what I'm going to do, if you can see it, I'm going to take and frazzle out one end of my fire fuse. Because this is coated in beeswax, it's 100% waterproof. Um, you still do have to kind of open this up, which I will do. All right. I'm going to set that right there for now. Talk a little bit more about this uh, pocket bellows. Um, basically, and I don't know who came up with the idea of it, it was fairly ingenious. It's like what television antennas are made out of. And what it's made to do is uh, blow on the big end, increasing speed to the small end to make what is, in effect, a bellows for your fire. So uh, we're going to get this thing lit and I'm going to test it out. Let's get this candle started. So, as you can see, for such minimal weight, it definitely works as good as any gasoline or lighter fluid. I actually use this to start my charcoal when I'm grilling. It takes a little bit of, uh, you know, inkling. And a lot of the problem I had this morning was because of the ice, but um, it's a really, really good way to get a fire started, even with wet um, stuff. So. This will really be roaring in just a few seconds. So guys, if you're looking for a fire starter, baddest B fire fuses, if you're looking for something to supplement your current fire starter, or wanting something to speed up wet fuel starting, pocket bellows.